About this same time last year, I bought this Traxxas TRX4 M Bronco. And so today, after one year of ownership, I'm going to tell you what I like and don't like about this truck, things I've done to it, any problems that I've had, and hopefully help you decide if you should buy one. So starting with stuff that I love about this truck. Uh, obviously, it looks super cool. It's super scale and realistic. I love the Ford Bronco body on it. I also love the clipless body system that this thing has. It's super quick, super cool, and helps with the scale realism of the body because obviously there's no body clips. Um, another awesome thing about this truck is all the electronics and the whole power system. It's really, really good, super easy to use. So if you're just getting into the hobby, you know, maybe you're new to RCs, looking for your first car, first crawler, something like that. This truck is super easy to use. I mean, you just plug the battery into the ESC and then you're good to go. You don't even have to hit an on off button, which is super cool. The motor is also super smooth and great for crawling as well as the servo. It's smooth, got lots of power. I haven't had a problem with either of those. The drag brake feature is also super nice, especially if you're doing some more intense crawling, things like that, you know, going down steeper hills and whatnot. It's super helpful to just keep your car from rolling straight down the hill at full speed. Overall, this truck performs really, really well, especially for when it was like box stock. It performed amazingly well compared to my Axial SCX24 Deadbolt right here. By the way, I made a video comparing these two while driving. If you want to check that out, click right up there or link in the description. But anyways, even when this truck was box stock, it performed almost as well as my highly modified Axial SCX24 which was pretty crazy. I will say the tires on this truck aren't great. I get it, they look cool, they're super scale, but they're just, they don't perform all that well. It just doesn't like to hook up everywhere. But then again, they are stock tires, so what do you really expect? I mean, the stock tires on the SCX24 were pretty much the same story. They kind of sucked. So I'll most definitely be upgrading those tires at some point, along with maybe the rims at some point. I don't know exactly what I'll do for those, but I'll figure that out when the time comes. Also not necessarily something specific to this truck, but more so just about these mini crawlers in general or just very small RC cars, is that they're kind of a pain to work on. I haven't done a whole lot on this truck, but even with you know the very few things that I have done, I, I had stripped out pretty much every screw that I've touched on these because they're just so tiny. Like look at all those little tiny, tiny little screws everywhere. And, and some of them like, especially the ones around the gearbox, those are even smaller than the rest on the chassis. And so uh, yeah, I have a tendency to strip out screws anyways, but when they're that insanely small, it just makes it so much easier to strip them out. I know a lot of people have also had problems with these little rubber rings around here. These actually hold in pins for those drive shafts, so your drive shafts stay connected to the output of the differential. I know a lot of people have had problems with those. I haven't had any problem with mine. All the issues I've heard about them were them either falling off or just breaking and falling off, and then obviously you lose the pin in that drive shaft, and then your drive shafts come disconnected. Um, I haven't done anything to mine, I haven't glued them on or anything, so that's just how they came out of the box, and they've been fine for me. For things I've done to this car, I did install the Traxxas Pro Scale Light Kit, which is super sick, I highly recommend it. And I also did install the low speed gears right from Traxxas as well. Not the whole motor and whole transmission and everything, but just the gears, I just threw them back in. That's where I stripped out most of the screws. And I would say that the low speed gears are kind of an essential upgrade on this truck. Uh, if you really want to do any big crawling because just stock out the box, it's kind of geared like way too high for normal crawling. It's more geared for trail driving and kind of just all around use than specifically crawling. I do mainly crawling with it, though I really like that upgrade and I know a lot of other people enjoy it as well. It's a super helpful upgrade. As you can see, I have also uh, just taken a silver Sharpie and gone around those rims. There's still a stock rims just with that little bit of Sharpie on there. It just looks pretty cool, gives it a bit of a different look. It adds just a little bit of scale realism to it and it's pretty sweet. A little bit more on the performance side of things, I will say that the bumpers are kind of a downfall of this truck, mainly the tires and the bumpers when you're crawling. Both of those things together are really the, the main issues when you're crawling. Like I said earlier, the tires just don't hook up that well. They're not the best, but that's a pretty easy replacement. However, the bumpers are actually a part of what holds on the body. You can see right there in the front and right there in the back. That is what holds on the clipless body. 
so you can't really take those off and even if you did i think it would look pretty goofy without the bumpers if you could still keep the body on but i think the body alone would be enough to hang it up in plenty of places but that's kind of an unfortunate thing but but honestly i don't really mind it it's it's really fine for me i'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of performance just for those scale looks overall i love this truck and i definitely recommend it i'll put a link in the description box below to where you can find one of these if you want to buy one or just check it out you know see a little bit more information about it and of course like i said earlier if you want to see a video comparing this bronco to my axial scx24 you can click right here for that video and if you want to see just more cool videos about this bronco i've got a whole playlist of videos on this channel about this exact truck so if you want to see those you can click right here on the screen for that and i will see you over there Thank you.